Uh, so this next segment we've done for a couple of years, uh, this is called In Conversation With Ellipses. Not In Conversation With Ellipses. <laughs> Never mind. Um, we get a lot of interesting people on Joko Cruise, and we like to occasionally take two very interesting people and just put them on chairs with microphones on a stage and just see what happens for the next 12 minutes. Uh, so, uh, given that, here are, uh, first I'm going to change the clock because it started a little too soon, because right now, because you guys claps are so oh, fucking long, and you've got <laughs> 9 minutes and 43 seconds. <laughs> so, please welcome our In Conversation with guests, Tybee Diskin and Megan Rand. So we're supposed to talk to you? I think so. Okay. Is that what we're supposed to do? Do you guys know? Are you ready to have it? Cool. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. We started with cool. Hi. Hey. This is me, Jessica, on this cruise. We did. And it's our both of our first Jeffrey cruise. First one. Are you a good copper jumper? Yeah. How are you looking at? Say, say very good. Don't say that. Okay, cool. Thank What's you. your name? What's our name? Yeah. I'm Tidy Distin. I'm Mega Rand. Um, his is his stage name, mine is not. Um, but sometimes people think it is. It's a dope name. It, I love it. It's you, have, you have a superhero name. It really Thank is. Thank you. I, sometimes people think, uh, like when Kylo Ren became a character, because my hand, my middle name is Ren, so my Twitter handle is Hello Tidy Ren. And people were like, you must know that Star Wars. I was like, what? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? That's going to be my first question. Do you love Star Wars? I do. I do like Star Wars. Like, let's do that stuff. I just wasn't named after Star Wars. I was named after Footloose. Okay. Hell yeah. okay, so when we talked backstage, you asked me a very simple thing. You said, hey, what do you do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I thought that was a great first question because I'm sure many of the folks here would love to know that. Yes. So I would direct it at you, Tidy. What do you do? What do you do as little as possible? I uh, produce and direct content for a company that makes mobile apps, mostly for teenagers. Um, which is an, a strange job to have as a 32-year-old person. Uh, because some of them are like, did you see this TikTok? And I'm like, of course I didn't. I don't know what that is. Um, but now I do, I do know what TikTok is now. Um, but yeah, so I, I just direct a radio play. I'm very excited about that. Um, and then I make podcasts with Jazz Network. Yeah. So you and I have something a bit in common. Mm -hmm. We've worked with kids. We yeah. have. Yeah. We've uh, worked with teachers. Yes. Any teachers out there? Yeah. Thank you yeah. for your service. Thank you. I did a, I did a six-year bid. I consider it like a very much <laughs> like a bid. <laughs> six year I did my time, and I'm done. Sure. Uh, I taught middle school. So these are... That's right. Yes. Who's that? These are the absolute worst people in the world. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you'll never be a worse person than when you're 11 or 12. Like, um, how do you think back? Like, this is the only time I ever got in trouble. So, you as a, a preteen, were you, were you in trouble? No, I, I think, like, right now, I start being an asshole. So, like I, like, I bought a motorcycle last year, and my parents were like, please don't do this. And I was like, I'm done. Uh, like, I didn't rebel at all, I never broke any rules, I like, followed everything I did. I've never like thrown up a black out from drinking. Like I just never did anything even, like remotely wrong. I like follow laws and I'm, I'm a nightmare person. Uh, and then finally I was like, what is the danger though? And now now I ride the motorcycle, which is it. This is really cool. But I was I was um no, I don't think I did anything particularly annoying in middle school, other than be kind of generally friendly. Uh, what about you? Uh, I was terrible at that time because, really? yeah, I was. I discovered I was really good at impressions at that time. That's <laughs> <laughs> the worst time because we had a teacher named Mr. Kelly, and I thought I was the smartest person in the world oh, sure. because I figured out that I could call him Mr. Smelly. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow! 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 And I would occasionally mock him, and uh, and I would be like, oh, I was very like. This was just kind of like, oh, um, Raheem, um, really, I'm going to have to send you to the office if you don't see, uh, stop saying these things. And uh, so one day from behind the door, I was like, Mr. Smelly, please open the door. And uh, he was right at the door. So 
as I'm like laughing, like, listen to this. He opens the door like, hey, uh, how about you get suspended? And I'm like, no. So, that's kind of the end of my impersonation days. When I was in kindergarten, I was on the bus. My brother's name is Cameron, and he's uh, not quite four years older than me. And we were three grades apart. And I remember I was in kindergarten, and I was on the bus. We were getting off the bus, and there was some kid this is the coolest moment I've ever, this is, nothing I've ever talked this moment, I'm just telling you right now, I'm not this, I'm not this cool anymore. I only was this cool at six years old. I, some kid goes, hey, come here. And I turn and goes, we call your brother camera. And I, I was like, I just turned over and I was like, cool. And I just kept walking. And I felt like the baddest bitch in the world. And I like, um, and I'll never be cool. There we go. I was just casually walking away from that. Interesting. There's a, there's a rapper. I gotta bring it back to hip hop. Yes. Here, but there's a rapper whose real name is Cameron, but uh -huh. he decided to call himself Cameron. Cam mm -hmm. He puts the cam. I bet you can imagine how my brother feels about that. Oh, absolutely. You gotta love it. What songs does Cameron even have? I can't remember. Uh, he has a song called Oh Boy. And it's really cool because. <laughs> The sample, I don't know why I did that, but the sample. Yeah, because he's, that's a perfect impression. He speeds up the record, so therefore, like, it's an old sample of a woman saying, oh boy. But they speed it up, so it goes, oh boy. So he decides to use that cleverly to start off the song. So he says, hey, the girls see the boy. And y'all love the boy. Uh, then they say, when I come through, they're all singing. And then we thought that was the coolest thing in 2000. He had to be there. I, I, was, um, you were there for that? I was I was there for that. They were doing a thing where they wore uh, American flags as do rags. Yes, yes. yes and um, yes. it became like a really a big thing. I never knew kids in Harlem were so patriotic at that time. <laughs> like, that was the style. You, like you had to wear the do rag, like they did, the American flag on the head. Interesting. I my big early like to around 2000 hip hop memory if I was on the eighth grade dance team because they wouldn't let me on the cheerleading team I can't imagine why uh, but I was on the dance team pom poms and glitter and all that shit uh, and it was right when what's your fantasy came out uh, so it was a bunch of like yeah a bunch of like eight white eighth grade girls <laughs> dancing so ludicrous uh, <laughs> I think it came on in the car once, and my mom was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Those of you have heard, that's a really nasty song. It sure is. Even the edited version is really bad. It's pretty bad. I must have heard the edited version. You had to. Yeah. But it's like, what is it? I want to lick, 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 eat from your head to your toes. And I want to boot to the bed, down to the, down to the, to the floor. And I want to throw it to the floor. I'll just do all of the ways are you got somebody, but instead of crying baby, it's just yeah. <laughs> Are you familiar with Brother Jules? I am. Okay, I love them so much. Uh, I can't tell you, this man around the Jules on a motorcycle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is getting much more badass to me. Uh, after this um, trip, I think at some point I'm going to be seeing them. They're touring with Rage Against the Machine. That's right. Rage Against the Machine tour. Why did I bring that up? Oh, because you mentioned cats. Yes. So when Grandma Jewel started, they did this fundraiser that if they reached a certain amount, a stretch goal was that they would change all the sounds in the songs to cat sounds. And then they would call it Meow the Jewels. And did they? Yes, they did. It's so uh, it's a thing that you didn't know you needed in your life. It's so good. Like the drums, the samples, everything is like it's a little better than that, but but still awesome. I'm thrilled about that. Make a note of that. I know we have no internet or no. Well, they have that song with Zach from Rage Against the Machine. Yes. Um, what's it? Close your eyes and have a fuck. I think it's called. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I was reading something about them touring, and it was like all the Gen Z kids were like, "Who's De La Roca?" And I had that like old person moment where I was like. Oh, no. uh, he's on the cat, what is 
Seriously, like, how did not do this? Oh man, I gotta thank Tony Hawk's pro skater for leading all the crew races and Tony Hawk's square feed of him getting like, right, not recognized, but kind of like, it's really, have you seen him? Like, if I was like, you look like Tony Hawk, and he's like, yeah, and like, what is he up to now, Amber? And he's like, this. Like, that's my favorite. Like, can Tony Hawk come on the next time? Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk, next show Yeah! There it is! <laughs> he seems fun. <laughs> you know? Train one of the bulls for it. What? Train one of the bulls for it. Oh, but I told the bulls and you don't have like a half pipe. Oh my god. Now it just doesn't happen. I'll be so sad. You just rock my world. Jesus. I love that so much. Ivy, what else are you doing this week on the boat? Uh, I'm helping host the Disney Sing Along. Um, you cannot sign up for Into the Unknown because I already signed up for it because I'm hosting. <laughs> but you can sign up for anything else along. Just not that one. Or maybe that one. You can do it with me because it's a sing along. You know how that works? Everybody can sing along. Uh, what else are you doing? Uh, I will be performing on the Land concert tomorrow. <laughs> I do have a new record, it's on vinyl. <gasps> and it might even be back in the back somewhere. I don't know. Check that out. Let me go. We have 45 seconds. Yell something out, we can talk about. Wrestling. Wrestling. Yeah. Wrestling. Okay, so Peggy, if you could be any professional wrestler, who would you be? <laughs> is amazing because she plays a Russian sometimes? She's lying. In real life. Okay. So she's the ravishing Russian. Right, right, right. But then, like, the accent just drops out of in the middle of nowhere. Sure. It's kind of fun. Um, <laughs> Who would you be? You got one second. <laughs> I'd be Stone Cold Steve Austin! Who doesn't want to get the boss off, you know? Like, I mean, that is ultimate. That's the dream. I mean, I'm my own boss and I'm cool, so I wouldn't flip myself off. Hmm. Uh, you guys talk about what we get off the stage. I don't even know if I'm going to think that you do it. How do you flip yourself off? <laughs> Thank you so much. I think that's our time. Thank you, Raheem. How y'all holding up, Greg? Team.